and welcome to another episode of Reboot Robots r and Collectibles. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Reboot Robot with another unboxing collector's edition. This time with Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus and I'm really excited. I can't wait to get this video over with because I want to do my launch stream, my other vid and I loved part one. Actually I loved all the Wolfenstein series ever since uh what decades ago ever since the first Wolfenstein that came out on PC so I mean that's like I've been playing each single one of them ever since but part one was like they really redid it I loved it I loved the story it was like playing an awesome Quentin Tarantino movie kinda and uh, this one looks like an awesome sequel I can't wait to play it uh, so far as you can see the box that's a huge box I mean if you compare it to any other game I mean look at that it looks like a huge version of a PS4 box game so it's very big you can see here let's look more at the at the box and this is a machine games Bethesda collector's edition this is just the sleeve by the way so see that right there and if you look at the back it gives a little portfolio America 1961 pretty much when the supposedly if the Nazis won this is what would happen and uh, you can see there collector's edition what it contains PS4 Pro Enhanced, so let's see how that looks. And you can see here on the side, it has some cool little uh, Liberate America from Nazis, uh, Rally the Resistance, uh, Wheel Devastating Guns and Future Tech, and also Kill Every Nazi in Your Way. <laughs> wow. If that's not enough, I don't know what is. So uh, there we go. Now uh, let me take off the sleeve very quick. All right, this should not be complicated. Oh, now as you can see here with the sleeve off, you can see the actual foot tall action figure. Now, they tried to go after the art direction of the old school antique type of um, toys like the G.I. Joes. Remember those like back in the 1960s or 70s? And they nailed that art direction. So this was kind of meant to be look, you know, kind of old and not, I can't say cheap, but not the toys that you actually see today. So and they did a very good job on it. You can see here, Elite Hans Enemy Edition. So this is through the eyes of the Nazis pretty much. So this is the, the villain of the game, of course, through their eyes. And then you can see there, Terribili. Terribili. Cold-blooded terrorist. So <laughs> this looks awesome. I do love the art direction here. And this is promising. Looks like they're gonna come out with more action figures. I hope, I don't know if this is part of just, you know, the PR stunt or something like that. I have no idea all toys sold separately so you're going to get the elite hans the general angel elite soldat and the osmerzer now a vehicle i mean if it's huge and that'd be so awesome dude i would like to see how this looks especially the elite soldat i think that will look cool i can't wait till those come out if they do and uh here's part of the back want to read that pause it read it good so there we go a little bit more information on terribly terribly and uh, see here, five deadly weapons. This is what's, what's inside right now. So I'm gonna take a look at that. It's the, this little craft work, the shock hammer X, laser craft work, machine pistoli, and the Kriegs BL. So that looks pretty cool. And uh, authentic bomber jacket. So he has an extra jacket, nice. And also a uh, Sunder bonus, field manual and poster. Nice, I do want a poster of, of Wolfenstein. That's so freaking badass. So yeah, that's the outside of the box. Is that it at the bottom? Nothing at the bottom. And just Wolfenstein new plus at the top. So uh, yeah, let's get this guy open. All right, folks, and there he is straight out the box. He is a pretty big figure. As you can see here, he can barely fit on my screen. But he looks awesome. They nailed that art direction of that old school G.I. Joe back in the 1960s, 70s. They really nailed it. Even to the boots. You see the bulky boots? You can actually take them off and put them back on or whatever. The clothes, you can take them off. Um, and also he comes with a cool accessory. I'll show the rest of the accessories, but he, with a cool bomber jacket. Look at this jacket, man. It's made out of pleather, obviously. And it has like a little fur on the sides. I'll put this on in just a second, but I just had to show that off. But um, yeah, he looks, he looks great. I mean, uh, he's fully posable. And he comes with the arsenal of weapons that I was saying before. And um, you can see here, actually, like... The thing is, he smells funny. He smells like old clothes <laughs> i don't know if it's the pleather on the jacket but he really smells like old clothes but um that's fine that's that's not like a deal breaker or anything i do like the bomber jacket it has like a black cat with a with a seven on it uh, i don't know what that means but as i play the game i think i'll figure that out he has like a 
a hatchet in his hand right there. You see that hatchet? Yeah, very cool. And on the other hand, he has some sort of uh, heavy duty machine gun. So we'll look at the accessories in just a few moments. So, um, but so far he looks good. I mean, the clothes don't look that bulky on them, not that corny. So it looks very good. Now, uh, okay, next, as I said, accessories. Okay, now before I get into the accessories, we gotta take a look at the most important part of this collector's edition. It's obviously the game. You can see here, it comes with a special steel case. It only comes with the collector's edition. You can see here, the the enemy of the game. General, was it, is it Angel or Angle? I don't remember, but yeah. Well, she's up in front. Man, this mouth, I remember in part one, she got tore up, but you gotta play part one to check that out, so yes. A new Colossus, seems like they have a new Nazi symbol, or I guess that's what that is. This is like more like a propaganda full, uh, poster, obviously, so you can see that. Um, right here, you can see the players of the game. Uh, hopefully these will become action figures as well. Very cool, and terribly, terribly. Let's open this up. And of course, you got this wonderful game. Oh, she has him as a slave or something. Looks very cool, hmm, foreshadowing something. Uh, this is like the field manual. This is actually, actually pretty funny if you want to check this out um, let's open this very quick though see right there oh I have that hey I have that game awesome game by the way check out our um, experience point stream on that and also I have this game too so nice Ooh, that's that aircraft ship I hope they you know bring that out as a collector's edition or something very cool uh, so yeah there's the game and here's the, the cool little how to capture this is like like rules on how to capture terribly see here recruit and collect new allies uh, beware of cowardly tactics it kind of shows you what to do in the game like hiding pipes and stuff like that uh, very cool let's see what else is on here very quick ah poster bits connects it's like the uh, Nazi German superhero I guess going against uh, American allies you can see here all the all his enemies I like this one Oscar Weismuller as Uncle Samson, you see. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, and you can see here, he's a gunslinger. Oh, I like this. Achtung means a warning, right, in German. Uh, to remove boots, grasp peel, and gently pull while steadying with the other hand. For ease of putting boots on, sprinkle any household powder inside the boot and grass top. <laughs> okay, so his feet won't stink. Um, yeah, and it shows uh, the weapons that he has. Create your dual wielding combos. Oh, I guess in the game you, you dual wield, obviously. So, ah, very cool. It gives you a little tip to the game and stuff. So, that, that's very cool. Now, back to the accessories. We got the game. It's definitely important. Uh, here we have uh, this gun right here. Damn, I don't know what the hell this is. I think this is a laser craft work. It, it kind of has some weight to it. It's heavy plastic. I mean, it has the gun metal, but it has no other color to it. Because if you look at the side of the box, it has like a wooden, uh, has wooden parts or even uh, some symbols on the side of this. So, but this is just you know, just pure plastic. So, laser craft work, nice. And you have here, it's called the Kreis, Kragsbeel, Kragsbeel. In other words, hatchet. This probably is the only one that has two different colors. Kind of has a silver right there with a the blade. So it's like you know, axe, hatchet, whatever. Nice. Next, take a look at this. This is the machine pistol. So I'm guessing it's like a well, obviously a machine gun, but um, it has no detail. Just I mean, the detail of the actual sculpt is excellent, but it has no painting on it. Without the painting, these all kind of look the same. That's why I got to look at the picture to see which one's which, because it all freaking looks the same. But um, other than that, the sculpt is awesome. But just I wish it had a little more paint on here. So. Machine gun pistoli. This looks like a flamethrower. Let's see if I'm right. Uh, this is the Disco Craft Work. Nine Disco Craft Work. I don't know what the hell that is. I'm guessing that's a flamethrower. It looks like a canister here. And I don't know what the hell it is. It looks awesome. Can't wait to see this. It has two types of. Actually, look, it has another coat of paint right there. So, but. Mm, I mean, awesome, awesome um, craftsmanship, but just there's no art to it. There's no color, but. Anyways, this looks like a triple shotgun. What do they call this? The Shockhammer X. Yeah, it's like a triple barrel shotgun, actually. Looks pretty dope. Nice sculpt, once again, just no color. Just the gunmetal plastic. Uh, cool, but other than that, I mean, it'll look cool on the character either way, so I think they're going after that vintage look anyways. 
That's how the guns look back then, or um, back on toys, so. Okay, cool. Not bad. That's it for the accessories. And of course, I think I should do the bomber jacket already. I'll put it on and see how it looks. And there he is with the bomber jacket on. Um, it looks nice, it looks good, but his joints are extremely, extremely like, you can't, you can't move them. They're extremely restricted. I can't even uh, make them pose like holding an, holding in a, a weapon. He has to be like that. So it's just that the sleeves are very short and then skinny. They're really like, sticking to his body. So I'd rather put on the other jacket because you can actually, you know, at least hold his gun forward. But the bomber jacket looks good. It looks as um, nice detail. You can see actually the cracks of the leather right there and also the small fur around his neck. So you keep his uh, chinny chin chin warm in those cold areas. So, but I mean, other than that, I do want him to be actually somewhat posable. So I'll put his other jacket on. And damn, this was hard to put on too. I'm about to say, if this was actually, you know, a good way, a good jacket, I was going to leave it on because it's damn hard to take off and put back on. But I guess I'll put the one back on again. All right, now back to normal. I do like this jacket much better. As you can see, I could pose his hand up with the gun. So very cool. And uh, so now the most important, what do you guys think? I mean, would you give him a 9 out of 10? <laughs> Sorry, that was bad. But uh, do the Reich thing and uh, leave a comment below, please. Like, subscribe. And uh, you tell me, if you played the game, I mean, tell me how you like it or whatnot. I'm about to do a launch stream right now, so that should be the next video after this. So, uh, yeah, please check that out. And also, thank you so much for watching. Live long, game on, and peace out.